Tom Gentry. Uh, today I've been playing through this little Yamaha THR10X. Um, I use this for warming up backstage, practice at home. We use it for writing almost exclusively in the studio. I usually go for Brown 1 and um, have everything kind of 12 o'clock ish basically. A bit of reverb or delay for feeling a bit more epic. So this is the sound that I use most of the time writing recording. So if I wanted to go for a more metal kind of tone, I'd probably use Power 2, which is the lead channel from an Engel Powerball. It sounds like this. So for Zico Chain, we tune CGC FAD for the majority of the songs. Um, to get a similar sound to the album, I would probably go on Power 1 with everything set pretty much 12 o'clock. Uh, gives a sound similar to this. I started playing guitar when I was 12. I've been playing piano for four years previous to that. Uh, but guitar just looked a bit cooler to me. Earliest influences were Jimmy Page, Tony Iommi, Angus Young. Um, I raided my dad's vinyl collection and it's basically every guitarist from there. I went through a phase of mega speedy metal sounds and trying to play as quick as I can. Um, but it's the more blues influenced players that I prefer with nicer phrasing to so Randy Rhodes, Nuno Betancourt, Van Halen. Uh, the reason I love Nuno Betancourt's playing, he's got a real kind of rhythmic um, feel. He uses a lot of palm muting rather than picking, and his riffs like. <laughs> Betancourt is one of my heroes earlier, so as a tribute to him I'm going to attempt to play Flight of the Wounded Bumblebee. I'll be using the clean channel with a slight bit of crunch on it on the THR. <coughs> Sounds kind of like this. Good enough. <laughs>